Hold up. Just hold up. What do you hold up? You the bank, hold up. You on the side, hold up. Everybody hold up. Oh yeah, the king is back. 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 And everyone down that the king is back. What up, 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 what's going on? It's a Wild Out Wednesday, everybody. Come on in. Please hold your applause because we're making moves and we're thanking God. Y'all know how it goes. Sit with me. Welcome to the home of the organically fabricated, culturally uncultured, specifically unspecified, unradio podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm right. And you are here with the cousins. The two favorite ones in the place to be. It's your boy L.A. and your girl. Isaac. And y'all know how we get down. Mr. Fly Guy himself doing oh. this every Wednesday at 8, 7 Central Thanks. for the best waste of your time that you can't get back. Uh-huh. And please, when you enter in the executive suites of KMW Media Studios... The golden rule, I'm always right. That is home, everybody. I know you miss me, miss me. Now you want to kiss me. COVID is still in the building. Six feet me, please. (laughs) So I am Pfizer strong in this mug, and we are doing it one more time for episode 60 what? 68. One before y'all nasties. Mm-hmm. And we doing it live. I am back. I know you're wondering what is this boy's millionaire skin looking like. Yeah. Holly tanned, Holly favored yeah, is your boy name, name, name. up in M I A, hanging out, doing my thing. Y'all know vacation and uh, I uh. He was M I A in the M I A. Facts and uh, that's not <laughs> false, people. That's not false. And uh, I have not heard any good uh. Re, uh, re reports back from how the show did for <laughs> episode 67 some, somehow. Uh, if you don't have haters, you recruit your son. Mm. Okay, so um, how did 67 go? 67 went really good. I'm disappointed that you didn't watch it. Ugh, my feelings are hurt a little bit. Well, you know, I, sometimes <laughs> parents don't want to see when their kids <laughs> are going to just fail abysmally and <laughs> Uh, you know, sometimes those nanny yeah. cams just don't turn on because we don't want to see what's going on. So. Oh, okay. But I did well, the watch nanny. the show as I watch each and every show every Wednesday. Right. And I think uh, AC and Mini AC, you know, did I. Uh, hey, boo boo. And, girl. you know, we'll have to uh, do some more training and uh, go through the proper steps of HR. But I'm sure that we can uh, <laughs> continue this HR. relationship. So. It is Wednesday. We back again. Y'all yeah. feeling good. It is a lot to, to talk about. Oh. But like we do each and every week on this Wednesday, we would like to present AC as she does her weekly segment that is Women in Sports. What we got? What we looking like? Well, it is playoff season. Mm, NBA playoff. I don't playoff. even know why they call it playoff, because it's play on. You just mm-hmm. keep just playing. Play on, play on. Play on, play on. And, and, and they doing that. They yeah, doing that. Doing so, it. How's the home team doing? I know we're fantastically ahead. I'm mad. About to sweep the, huh? Every time I give Luca a little bit of um encouragement. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's but I can't be mad at him. His shoulder hurt, but um. Yeah, nerve damage on yeah. that shoulder. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. I love you, Luca. He must have found a girlfriend because we all know that the only way that things get on men's nerves <laughs> is if it's a she going on. He tried it. So I'm sorry, Luca. My condolences for your shoulder. Yeah. If that's the one she was on, mm. which is why it's hurt. It must have been good though if he, she messed up a whole shoulder. You know what? Messing up the life, it starts in phases, and y'all do oh, that, that quite well. <laughs> We yeah, start to get the pain from somewhere. Whatever. This is the first Wednesday of the June, baby. The so June. this is not Triple L Day. Y'all <laughs> had that last <laughs> week. This is what we're going on, show. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Your old headphones. <laughs> okay. Cut it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Dallas and the <laughs> Clippers. Little Run DMC, little brother. What's going on? Uh, oh. I'm sorry. 
Don't, y'all ignore him. Yeah, which is a little, 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 in, little sibling inter, rivalry. Inter radio there. antics, that's all, yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. We're still clipping away at the Clippers a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the series is tied two to two. Them Clippers are a little rusty. I can't. Just, I like how your boy looking right now, but that's okay. I was out on South Beach. Oh, South Beach. You, mean you know South they Beach they Beach. liked all of the five o'clock chateau, uh, if you will. Utah's continuing to spank the Grizzly Bear, mm-hmm. um, the Grizzly leading the series bear. three to one. Yes. So I'm excited for the the next game. Donovan Mitchell is showing his naked. Look, because he is trying to tell y'all what's good. Speaking of Donovan Mitchell, I gotta get that man uh, something. Just not no vagina, but I gotta get. I something. hope not. That's not what we talking about. He had on a bad ass. It better be bad. HBCU jacket. I'm looking it up. Oh my gosh! And then Stephen A. Black ass turned around and wore the same jacket. Did he? I've been trying to find a jacket and I can't. By Nay Smith. So if y'all can just refer me to y'all stylist, I can pay for my own. I just want one. Oh well, you know I have one, so she gonna make sure I'm right. So. Yeah, she, well. Aside yeah. from myself. But, she she yeah. need to get me one of them jackets because I'm feeling it. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how about that. Uh, Brooklyn won. Yeah, they went ahead and did they that. Won. With did that. So much so, I heard the Celtics is under new management. management. Mm. Yeah, that one. Mm. So uh, the the Brooklyn one and Milwaukee one, they beat the Heat. Mm. They took the Heat, so they stayed in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see Brooklyn and. Oh my gosh, where's my concentration? Okay. We'll see Brooklyn in the books. Yes. In the next. In the B B and B. Is going on on TNT. BNB on, on TNT. Unless it's on that whack ass NBA TV, can't mm-hmm. nobody get to for some reason. Or the other one, what's the Bally's? Bally Sports. Bally used don't to nobody be. Don't nobody know about that. Yeah, I just remember they used to be like a dance center. I thought so. Oh, in the clip, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then a workout center, yeah. which went under. Yeah. So hopefully oh, this channel going to go under, but you know, unless uh-huh. you're a sponsor of Doing Right, because then we want you to strive and do well, Bally's. <laughs> Okay. And speaking of our sponsors, we'd like to give a special shout out to the CEO of MMTG Clothing oh. for his amazing line. And don't you guys yeah. worry, the Juneteenth line is on its way. We'll be debuting next week. Pop. Make sure that you pop up at all the pop up shops, which you can follow on the MMTG Clothing Instagram page. Okay. That is MMTG Clothing. We're blessed to, to get, get you dressed. dressed. Back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a commercial? That was the community commercial. You I like that. We got to pay the bills. We got to do that a little bit more often. Got to pay the bills. So I see <laughs> that a lot of heat, mm-hmm. no Miami pun intended, mm-hmm. which we can pun, but uh, is going on for one Chris Naps Pozingas. Pozingas, uh huh. He is not well liked right now. Not at all. Not. So uh, I wonder what we're going to do about that because it is not looking good. If Pazingas can't bring his body to the dance because Luca can't do it by himself. And he right. is the highest paid player on the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, so that is true. That is a fact. Wow. Fox. Not Fox, absolute facts. Mm-hmm. And so we're gonna see what he gonna bring to the table because the word around here is that one Chuck Charles Barkley ha, on Chucky. inside the NBA edition. Him. Has said, uh, the Mavericks will not win another game in this He did series. say that. He did say that with his fat ass. Mm. I was mad at him for cursing us like that. But I think that we're going to overcome. I think that we're going to pull through. I, I hate that I said that Mavericks was going to take it in four because we're not. However, yeah. I was being proud of my team. I was in the moment. We might no need, problem with that. you know, a few more games. That's all. Um, On side of that, though, mm-hmm. other than his hairline being pushed back, he's being pushed back. Who is that? LeBron James. Mm. You he know, was so disappointed last night. You know. He was so disappointed. You know. Oh, gosh. And you're loving it, right? Are you basking? I just feel, if I may. <laughs> okay. I just feel that every rain comes to an abrupt end. Abrupt, okay. And Father Time himself Mm -hmm. remains undefeated. Unlike LeBron James' first playoff 
round record. Mm. <laughs> Do you know that this man is a glowing 14 and 0 in first round playoff series? Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Am I letting the cat out of the bag by saying what? 14 and 0? <laughs> because I hereby project and reaffirm what I stated. Oh, what was that? That the Lakers will not be winning the NBA championship this year. Or, may I say, LeBron will not win another, and I said win, when it did, will not win another championship mm. in his NBA career, lest he decide to join forces of the NBA champion team at that time. Mm. The only way he's going to do it is with another super team. <laughs> but he himself will not orchestrate it mm. unless he's a GM or something. Because he's been GMing his ass off for the last 10 years. But I'm here to say, GOAT, you are not. You might be the king, <laughs> but you is not the GOAT, says <laughs> his heiress. <laughs> Hey, bro, oh. just saying, just saying, player. But good job trying this year because we will see the Suns sun the Lakers in this series here. Just saying. So I'm going to go ahead and announce that moving forward in this first round mm -hmm. will be the Phoenix Suns, mm -hmm. the Utah Jazz. Mm -hmm. You already see that Brooklyn and Milwaukee has moved ahead. Mm -hmm. You will also see, uh, you will also see on the east the 76ers will go ahead and move ahead, and then you will also see on that same plateau. Uh, who else we have on the east? Let's see. We got Bucks in Brooklyn, 76ers, and no, the Wizards are the ones that the Sixers are sending home. The Knicks so and the Hawks definitely can be. No, there we go. Trey Young and the Hawks, I think, are going to take care of the Knicks. And I think you'll see Knicks Sixers coming up soon. Now, on the West, I'm going to say it's going to be the Utah Jazz, which I said. Utah. <laughs> I think that it's also going to be the, the Suns. I said that too. So the Suns and the Jazz will move ahead. Mm -hmm. I think that the Grizzlies are going to go ahead and get taken down. By Denver. I don't know about this Clippers Mavs series, y'all. This one is a tough one because. You mean the Trailblazers? No, the Trailblazers are going to get beat by Utah. The Trailblazers are playing Denver. Oh, oh, excuse me. The Jazz are playing Memphis. Yes. So my apologies. Okay. Jazz is going to move ahead. That's right. I'm sorry. I think Denver is going to beat the Trailblazers. But. Let me give a special shout out because the other night it damn sure was Dame time, baby. Dame. And if Dame time would have had a supporting cast that was not sh <laughs> shook, the Blazers would have won that game. That was shook. That was shook. Shook. <laughs> but Dame time would have went on here and did that damn thing. Okay, fifty-five points. Do you know that it's only I think it's only six other players that have scored more than Dame Lillard in a playoff game. That's very correct. I heard that last night on, uh, well, actually, it was Chalk. Yeah. That said it. And he's one of them. Yeah. But the GOAT did it two times. Two times. Those and we ain't talking about LBJ. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are talking about just the M and Jet. the J. Oh, okay. okay. So he did it two times. Two times. So. Everybody look forward to the games tonight. It's going to be going down, okay? You got a couple going of games down. that's going to be, you know, finalized in their series. And then we're going to see what the Mavs got for the Clips. I'm not counting out the Mavs just yet. You bet not. But I'm telling you, Chris Snaps <sighs> has to bring it if he wants to be Chris Snaps again. He just needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Like, he, I don't want to be on the same with He's just up. too tall and too lanky <laughs> to not be doing nothing. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Ah! Okay. So. Well, in other sports. 
What what you got? You got something? Yeah. Dak Dak Prescott. He's continuing his mental health journey. I love it. Yes. Me, uh, he's not having no mental health issues. No. Because you said he's his actually mental health doing journey, his, his journey. You know, he's he's still bringing speaking awareness. and yeah, okay. and bringing awareness to I'm and scared. making it a cool thing to say, hey. Right. Make sure that you're I'm okay. I'm touched. Help or you know. Understand, I'm walking around with my card telling yeah. I'm touched. And in baseball sports, ladies, don't we all want a man like Titus Jr.? That split he hit the other day. So you're not talking about actual sports. You're just talking about some buffoonery. I'm talking about the did. benefits of such sports. This that was buffoonery? That this, was good stuff. This hereby closes the door on the segment <laughs> of women and folks for today. Hey, time to Thank see. Thank you, AC. You're welcome. I think. <laughs> now, moving right ahead. Full steam. This month of June mm-hmm. is Pride Month. Pride? What we pride of? Uh, you, <laughs> let what me be careful of? about the things that I have to say. Okay, me too, I guess. Cause Cause what we pride of? I'm proud of anybody that is different. And okay. is willing to stand up That's good. for being different and being prideful about the differences that they exhibit. Take like that. I think that's probably the best thing that I can say and not say nothing else. <laughs> I support and love all people. Okay. Damn sure love my people. And your preferences is your preferences mm. alone. And I ain't got nothing to do with it. Period. I would just ask you to allow those same people who are tolerant and um, appreciative of you having those preferences to let those preferences be uh Apparently, our staff has an important phone call. Well, I thought so it was a beat. Every we will, time uh, that beat drop. Yeah, so oh, okay. happy Pride Day, everyone, and do what you do. Go watch my shoes. <laughs> do who you do. All I ask. So, in the MIA, the recounts of the MIA trip, fabulous, had a wonderful time. Did you bring back my damn souvenir? I got you your shotty shot shot Thank glass, ya. which was delivered to my hotel suite as I was out there on uh, the balconies overlooking the ocean. Thank you, Lord. So, um, I uh, want to say that one thing that I did take away, mm-hmm. and I don't know what y'all thinking, you know, about a trip to Little Havana and enjoying the empanadas there of the Creole culture. That was cool, going to see all the artwork in the district over there. Uh, I can't remember the certain street, but all the uh, uh, the Cuban artwork and the, the Haitian artwork and all of that, and seeing the heritage, such as the flame that's still lit in Little Havana, how they have changed the way to make the Cubano cigars and all of that, and how I did toasty toast a few of those authentic Cubans, by the way, just for your boy. I mean, hey, I'm not they illegal, but you know, the perks of being the main attraction. So uh, I know that y'all may be thinking about how going through the bays of Biscayne, going down Millionaire's Row on a boat, enjoying the views, if you will, from the 666. No, not really the 6. It was the 305. That's where we was at. And to me, because you know the 666 is the deal. No, no, no. The 666 is guys that's up there at uh, Canada. That's what uh, my boy Drizzy is talking about. It's the echo so of the 666. Yeah. No, 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 we ain't do all that. Okay. We blessed and highly favored, making moves, thanking God. Thank Priest. you. So, uh, out there, a million of us rock over on the boat, just sailing through the ocean deep as mm-hmm. I am just checking out all the views and the skylines of okay, the MIA, okay, uh, being courtside at Miami Heat's game against the Bucks. I know that's all what y'all thinking about, all them amazing things you want to hear about. No, that is not what made Miami special. For me, mm. what was special that I took away from Miami 
was the scene on Ocean Drive hmm. next to the beach. Hmm. If you know, See, you, you know. know. Because it was the beginning of the Memorial Day week in Chouare. Chouare. Mmm. I must have been ass and titties everywhere. Let me tell you outside. Mm. For all the mothers <laughs> that was in attendance, all the mothers that made babies, and those babies was in attendance. <laughs> I would like to sincerely, on behalf of Jesus himself, <laughs> extend my thanks to you all for doing your due diligence mm. and being as almondy, baby lotion-y, baby oil gel -y, bath and body -y, bath bed and beyond -y, Victoria unleashing the secret E for showing up out there in the MIA with the sun and the fun and the buns. Because I am here to tell you, buns. baby, <laughs> if they wasn't out, LL Lip, LL Lip Glossin, if they wasn't out, baby, listen, listen to your boy. Miami is Dallas's second home. L.A. runs Dallas the second home. It might be L.A. runs in my A. I don't know. I'm just trying to tell you because it was a sight to behold. Because the freaks don't just come out at night. <laughs> Baby, they just stay front and center, okay? Because who enjoyed they in my A is your boy. Mm. Man. Um. <laughs> Hey, I'm just here to tell you Speechless. that the sugar factory wasn't the only factory of sugar that was out there. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I thought Miami did everything they were supposed to do for the arrival of Dallas's latest son. And in the words of all of the... Did you get laid? Uh, excuse me? I, I laid in the sun? No, you know, when they put the flower necklace on your neck did you get laid after every suv i got in and out of they laid those on me they laid hands and i may have had to lay a few hands to pray <laughs> you know just it was it was awesome i uh thank you city of miami the ports and all that of south beach for your bill came in showing a good time as my sponsors will finally take care of that. Thank y'all so much. I uh, had a blast, and I thank you all for inviting me to your city. All the cities know that I am there for all appearances, so please send out your request to the uh, email address. That is mmtgclothing at gmail.com or no, I'm right 100 at gmail.com, and you too, Mike, can see Dallas's favorite son in your city. Uh, special shout out to Sugar Factory. Mwah, chef's kiss. Great service to my boy out there, Charles. Shout out to you, Charles. You know what I'm talking about. Doing your thing. Uh, also, shout out to Crabman305. Now, let me tell y'all a little story about Crabman305. Here's the funny thing. Now, I was out there with a good friend of mine. We had went to have a little eating. And my friend was like, we have got to go to Crabman305. My friends have said. I have got to go to Crabman 305. I got to have my seafood fixed. Got to have it. No ifs, ands, and buts. I said, hey, your world, let's do it. So get all in the duds here, in, you know, MIA down, you know, palm trees on me and all that good stuff. She wore her vittles and we got on out. We caught out to the hood of the three, to the old, to the five. Okay. Remember Trick Daddy and Mac? 305 is where we was at. And would y'all just know it that as we arrived out of the stretch that we figured out quickly that the stretch did not belong in this area. <laughs> Neither did I belong in this area. But when in Rome, so we walked up to the establishment 
-hmm. And my friend walked in and looked to the left, okay. looked to her right, oh. and she was like a rug. Really? Is this Crab Man 305? Mm. And a young gentleman behind the counter said, yep. <laughs> Just like that? They grabbed me 305, yep. And so, as we was there at Crab Man 305, this friend of mine was like, we want to order some food, but where are we supposed to eat it at? And the dude behind the counter simply said, <laughs> Rich, did you hear? Yeah, I heard it. Y'all must ain't been around here. Huh? No, sir, we are not. We are citizens of Dallas, <laughs> Texas, sir. And they're, uh, um, I see establishments like these all the time and know that there's no place to eat. But my buddy here, uh, seemed to thought that we was going to sit down. Mm. This friend of mine thought we was going to roll in the Crab Man 305 and have a seat. <laughs> no. Psych. You order your food to go. <laughs> Bye. So, we enjoyed some not snow crab, but the, what's the other one? King crab? The king Dungeness. Dungeness. Oh, the small one. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't really with that. I'm sure. We small around these parts. Wasn't really with the Dungeness. Mm -mm, they need to stay in that dungeon because they was not, they was not dungeoning at, mm -hmm. at Crab Man 305. And, and they didn't do you no favors with the portions and what they served. And it was quite. It was small portions? It was enough, but it just, uh, you know. You know when? You didn't have enough to stay for later and then end up throwing When you were food. used to a certain way of living, y'all, you want your crab to more so come to you. You don't want to have to come to the crab. And I just felt that it could have been a little better. But that's, not, that's neither here nor there. Okay. Miami, great job. I'll see you again soon. So, had a great time. Good. Much needed rest. I came back to plenty of fans uh, sending their, you know, we miss yous and, uh, you know, I'd like to order some more product and all that. And, and, you know, I came back with a refreshed creative mind for more styles for you at the MMTG Clothing Site Store. You will see them soon. So just thank you so much for missing me, guys. AC, I've gotten your plenty of text saying I need you back here ASAP. And Kenny's text behind the... Behind the back of AC, letting her know, man, you know, please be here for episode 68. But not, neither, not, neither here nor there. We are here, and we're doing our thing. So we're moving right on along. Um, okay, I, I got a notice. to. I have to advise you all from, from my friend was advising me to let y'all know that I must comment on the drivers in Miami. Oh, no. <laughs> are they bad? Are they worse than Houston? I tell you that every driver in Miami, except a handful of them, and I mean literally a handful of them, all have carpooling Tourette's. <laughs> For some reason, to have a license and own and operate a vehicle in Miami, you do not need to know the ways of how an automobile works. There is a gas and there is a brake. They did not make them to be used simultaneously. But apparently, to drive and own and operate a vehicle in Miami, these are not rules of the road. <laughs> so if I was to petition the city of Miami, I would say, please have all of your citizens return <laughs> to your local Department of Motor Vehicles for an additional test. And training. As I believe that the concept of gas and brake needs to be separated into two different lessons. Not the same. Just oh, these. Yes. Just a thought. Just my feedback. 
Otherwise, outside of uh, spasms in my neck, I do appreciate my my time in, uh, <laughs> in Miami. I'm sorry. You got a permanent twitch? Yeah, just somehow it just comes out. So thank thank you all uh, for your time. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. So, that was the, the Miami uh, driving experience. But outside, when we were able to be on our two feet, it was great. There is a museum of erotica in Miami. What? I highly do not recommend it. Do they be standing butt naked in the windows? The museum is figurines. Oh. Artwork. Okay. So it's not a live porno show. It's quite pornographic. <laughs> Once you get past all the nice pictures that someone uh, Caucasian and gay from the 1913s was taken of people, <laughs> and you move to the different hallways, the hallway starts to completely show pornographic images back and forth of Fu Manchu, uh, Disney characters with uh, Simpson characters. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And they have no so bones I'm a mermaid about it. in there just. There was a panoose that made a full circle, and there was a female in each half yard of the panoose as it goes through one end of her and out the other. Oh, wow. There was a wall of vaginas. <laughs> Different shapes and sizes for you to see. One was even for those nasty guys. Red. Yeah. There was a red vagina on the wall. Um... Yeah, it was quite a show, I would say. Um, that's the end of that. So uh, if you want to check out the Museum of Erotica in Miami and South Beach, you are welcome to it. Uh, one and done is good enough for me. So um, moving right along here, <clears throat> there was a few things that I saw on my trip I wanted to address. Um, I wanted to also make sure that everybody knew that I still was waiting on responses for my question I posted. I wanted to know if those roast history chickens at Walmart. <laughs> so you are did good. that on purpose. I, I was gonna ask you about that. I was waiting for a really good time. You did that on purpose. What? I just roast history. Yeah, they in the deli section. The roast history. <laughs> <laughs> They're rotisserie. Yes. I don't know where you got That's rot what I said. history. That's what I said. No, you didn't. I didn't you say. spelled it all jacked up. Like, Ain't that how it's spelled? No, but boo, you spelled it how it sounds in your head. Roast history chickens. It is roast. roast <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Seems like you know. Yeah, it roast. is roast history. It's true. <laughs> Absolutely. You said what I said. <laughs> it is the roast history chicken. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That made me think a little ghetto baby posted that on your page. I said that baby there. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Roast Make sure history. everybody go get your healthy on. Instead of eating fried all the time, we're going to get you some roast, roast history, history chicken from okay. Walmart. Okay. <laughs> now. I did see a few things. Let me see if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm just going to. Let's, let's see if we can do plow through these. I know we got us about the latter half of this show. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. One person posted a question. This was by a gentleman. He mm -hmm. said, you have been vibing with a guy for one week. He invites you out for drinks. Mm -hmm. You get there. He buys you drinks. Then you decide you want to order some food. Mm -hmm. At the end of the night, the bill comes and he tells the waiter the drinks will be separate I'm paying for the from drinks. the meal. And tells you to pay for the meal. And he has the drinks because that's what he invited you to out have. for. Ladies, mm -hmm. what's your response to this? Because in my opinion, he did the right thing. No one told you to be grabbing menus and ordering food. We are here, all caps, we're here for drinks, 17 exclamation marks. One of the ladies did write a response in here. Mm, what'd she say? What she has said. If you broke, just say that. He should keep his broke A with two dollar signs at home until he can't afford to, and you have to click see more. Mm. 
And then another lady says, "You, uh, the, the, what's his name? <clears throat> a gentleman would never speak like this about any woman, and he would 100% pay for the meal. Mm. AC, your thoughts? <sighs> Ladies. <clears throat> He told you his intentions when he called you and invited you out. He invited you for drinks. Mm -hmm. Now, because he don't want to pay for your broke-ass meal, mm -hmm. don't mean that he's a broke-ass man. It well, means that he said what he said. I said what I said. Many leaks. And he meant it. He invited your ass for drinks. For drinks. Period. And then when he cool. got there, he still didn't ask your little hungry ass. Mm -hmm. If you wanted food, he said drinks. He did say drinks. So you can't be upset with him because he stated his intentions before you got there. Yep. And then he reiterated them when he got there. Did. I said drinks. Period. Mm -hmm. He paying for the drinks. The drinks. Now, what drink. I would do, me being the spiteful person that I can be, mm -hmm. I would. a woman, so yeah. <laughs> don't try this at home. I would have purchased or I would have ordered as many drinks as my little tummy could handle. Many drinks. And then I would have asked him if he was hungry and I would have paid for his meal. Wow. Ha. Wow. Period. But yeah, he stated his intentions at first. And it was up to you to stick to the plan. And you deviated, so you have to play for the deviation. Not play. Hey, but you might have to play too. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I go on a whole vacation mm -hmm. and come back just and to shit's see. And still real. AC, find a way to agree with men and insult them in the same damn sense. I didn't insult you. I buy your food, though. Here's the problem. <laughs> I actually, actually think that they both wrong. What? Why? And I'm going to tell you why. Why? One. Now he want to disagree. The gentleman, he know better. When have you ever asked a woman, would she like to join you for one thing? And you ever got away with just one thing? i tell you when. Never. You can't invite a woman for a walk outside without her walking back with an ice cream cone at least. <laughs> you can't ask her if she want to go walk around the mall and do some eye shopping without having to count your pennies after she done took you down for a Louie. And you damn sure can't ask her hungry, hungry hippo ass to go inside to a restaurant for some drinks if they happen to have some chicken wings in the back because she going to want it with an extra side of ranch. You know better, sir. If you wanted to just get some drinks for her, you should have went to the snow cone house. The snow cone house. Because otherwise, that Hugh Heifer was going to actually run the tab up on you. Wait, what you call it? A Hugh Heifer? Hugh Heifer. So, okay. Yep. <laughs> Stick with <laughs> it. <laughs> so, Hugh Heifer. Now, where the woman come in wrong at as per usual, uh -huh. she brought her hungry ass in there uh -huh. thinking, well, if he'll buy me a drink, uh -huh. he damn sure going to buy me something to eat. Uh -huh. okay. If she was a real one, as y'all women like to talk about us men, let me say, if she was a real one, she just said, I appreciate you inviting me for drinks. Would you like an appetizer, King? Because I thought I would marry some of that drink with a little something to eat to make sure that we both make it home safely so that we can be ready for our next date that we gonna go on. That's what a real one would have said right there. Amen, Kenny? Yes, sir. That's what a real Kenny, woman would have said. Bullshit. But instead of her stepping up like a Michelle Obama, She'd rather be a little city girl and say, uh, nah, I'm gonna go with these Supreme nachos 
and can you give me some extra sour cream? I don't want no onion, though. Know. Can you take the onion off? I don't even sound do like that. Do you like onion? You probably do like onion with your old stuff. I don't want no onion, you know. That's probably how she did that young man. And that's where it ended up at. So, Horrible. ladies, Horrible. if you would just step up and show that it's a two-party system in this thing, show the teamwork, you may not have a baby daddy. You may have a husband. None of you niggas is husbands mm. anymore. Mm. Mm. Murdered you with that one, didn't I? No, I'm, no. I'm back on the back. I'm refreshed. I'm ready for you. It's back. The king is back. That is all. <laughs> now, going for another further. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. This one definitely hits so home. And I hope somehow you listening. Because this is a message that you need to hear. Oh, okay. Where is it? Have you ever noticed after a breakup, the loyal one stays single, deals with the damages until they're healed, and the cheater is already in, in another, another relationship. relationship, damaging somebody damn else? You, charlatan, you. Mm -hmm. You. Yep. That one right there in the purple shirt. And why ask about <coughs> what I'm saying? NYAC, anytime you want to know. NYAC, what? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to use creative ways of spelling things. What the hell are you spelling with AC? Take that out. I just said in and asking why a single thing okay. will come out of my mouth. Okay, goddammit. Clean that up. Read through the lines, because I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wholeheartedly believe with that. <clears throat> That's fact. That right there is straight fact. I can't even uh, refute, rebuttal, redirect. Ain't no That's way true. that you right back in another relationship if you were not already sowing that little seed. That's true. Or if you were not already in that relationship. Already in it. <laughs> had a bi violationship, because you had two of them. There you go. Violationship. Yeah. Ninjas like you is why you still living with your <clears throat> Let me finish it. Can I finish it? Go ahead. With your goddamn mama. Oh. Um. Mm. Yeah. Well, well. She did that. Well, you got my phone up. You got something to say. Well, oh. anyway. Mm. Anyway. So, moving right along. Another one you that I saw. You gonna get a call tonight. I wish you would. <laughs> You can just show up. You got my address. She might show up. You got my address. I can send you an Uber. A uh, Miami drop the Uber. So you can have your next Because you know right that axe sharp and it hit right in the bullseye. Next one is this lady said it's, it's actually two dumb dumb ditties on here, okay? <laughs> the first one and her name is the casual sex captain. So you can already oh see what her mindset is. AKA the hoe. Yeah. Okay. If we not married, why would I give a child I carried for nine months your last your name? Your last name. <laughs> why? Why? How? Why? So the follow up to that response was from her homegirl. That would be, uh, I can't say her name, but BG is in the last of it. She's a Bratz, and apparently she's from Atlanta, I guess. Okay. Um, you can't but, say it because you don't want to, or you can't say it because you can't pronounce it? No, nah, I'm just trying to be nice, but okay. Keisha BG, okay? Keisha, Keisha BG. BG. <laughs> I don't think we anybody know who she is. If she's mm. from Atlanta, she probably ain't, you know, ain't listening to podcasts. You know, these are intellectual conversations that I'm sure that she's not having. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There was a called a spit take, folks. We're live. We're okay? live. So everything that you see is live. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the response from BG. <laughs> We're not married. It's my child, <laughs> and don't have to give my child that I carried for nine months the last name of a man who ain't my husband. He's just the father. And there's no long ties to him. Even if we're married, I don't need to give my kids my husband's last name. It's 2021. 
Let me just sit up real quick and let me say something to you. She disrespectful. I'm sorry. I, I had to cut in there. <clears throat> ho, ho, hoes. <laughs> Christmas in June. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all can't carry shit if don't nobody put it in the goddamn luggage. Yo, vagina services as luggage for the kids. That's the only reason that you're there for. That's why God made you. You're luggage, okay? First and foremost, you're a partner of luggage. If I fly first class, I can check two of you hoes in for free. God damn. So don't you for one second think that you was welcomed, that you was blessed enough to carry something for nine months of my luggage for the flight I paid for. <coughs> What? <laughs> the flight I put my dollars down for to go through the security at a fast pace and I have to take my shoes off. You and you have the audacity to say I don't get the last name of the luggage I put in the suitcase? <laughs> Bitch, it's my luggage. <laughs> I'm the one that packed up the clothes. I'm the one put the Gianni Versace shoes inside your stomach. And you have the audacity to think that it's yours? <laughs> Laughable. It's preposterous. Girl, I put a code in you to lock that down. Yep. And when I put it to unlock it nine months later, it's going to come out. What was the code? H O H O H O. E. What's the code? Oh, oh, oh. So I don't even understand why the first number fixed her mouth. To ask why. Why are you asking why so much? Why are you put so many extra mixing more? You don't have to put that many extra mixing more. I'm saying like, it, well, the why is clear. I injected the turkey with the flavor you wouldn't even be eating on Thanksgiving if it wasn't for the injection. Okay? The vitamin D is what got your melanin skin looking that way. That's what got you like that, sweetness. Okay? Instead of swallowing one of them, you try to inject. Congratulations, you got a two ways. Oh, Jesus. Only one way makes you pregnant. Only one way puts the luggage in there. Okay? Because that's your nickname. I think we're going to need an attorney. So, <laughs> let this be a message to all y'all out there with the JJs. Mm. Nothing happens with the crock pot until you turn the son bitch on and put something in. Okay, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> you give that child that man's last name because you can scissor a mother all you want to and won't nothing come out of it. What's that? Oh, oh. <laughs> it don't matter if it's two prong or three. Once it comes inside something, that's when lights turn on. That's when things start moving. That's when action is created. A hole without nothing in it is just a hole with a hole. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> is it my turn? You can go ahead, baby. <laughs> cause I, if there's anybody left alive after that roasting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. So, firstly, <clears throat> I have been guilty uh, as a mother, Cap right? Six Catholic. <laughs> she pissed you off, huh? Okay, she was in. <laughs> she got under your skin. Got yeah, nerd talking about he just he just the what kind of dumb ass reverse math is that? He just the father. <laughs> he was just the penis that spread it all the you know the hell. Hmm. These hoes ain't loyal. Some of y'all don't even deserve to be lucky. What? That's why y'all ass is called carry-ons. <laughs> you ain't getting checked out. Oh, Jesus. Go ahead, girl. Okay, so, mm -hmm. as I was saying, I'm guilty of both, right? So, my first child has my last name. First of all, she's a girl, and I was a little self. She's mine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, And... She's a girl. Did I say that? You did. <laughs> so, 
I wanted her. I wanted. Her, she was me. She was my mini me. She was. She was me. Once, once I accepted the fact that I was doing it. I was having a baby. I was doing this. I made her mine by giving her my last name. Now, to this day, I don't know if her father has an issue with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't say that I don't care, but I can't say that I do care. Mm-hmm. Because she was mine. She's still mine. Now, my son, on the other hand, his father and I were not married. And he has both of our last names. So he's a Hewitt Holt. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Yeah. You said the first baby was yours. Yeah, she mine. That's my baby. So did you self inject this one? I I wish I could have. Did you? It's almost like I did. Did you a whole cycle by your, You did the whole thing by yourself. Well, what's all of that? <clears throat> Girl, you know exactly what all that is. The penis only has one insertion point. No. It don't. Yes, it does. <laughs> <Not three>. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely it only has one, one and with the right man, it might have two, but it will never have three unless you want to put it in pomula. Hey, some of them, uh, some of them, uh, some of them get down like that. Well, I know they let you put it in their ear, their nose. They let you hit them up in the forehead and rub it all in the neck. I've heard little, somebody. Little retina, retina head. What's that? Little retina, retina head. In the- <laughs> <laughs> what? So now you messing with my sight? A little red lacio. <laughs> no. What the hell? Like now I understand why some of you hoes got one eye. What? Girl, me okay. and my man used to be real freaking. I'm just saying. I say. see. I let him put it anywhere. Um. Yeah, she was my baby. No, I didn't do it by myself. But he. You know, he knows that she's mine, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, he knows it. He shook his head. I saw it. But my son, yeah, he, he's a boy. And so I was a little bit more understanding to his father wanting to carry on his name and all that other kind of bullshit. What did you understand of that? You know, I mean, because y'all... <sighs> okay, so men are... I, I, I'm going to say this. I feel that men are equally... Um, in love with either a son or a daughter. However, uh-huh. a son carries on your legacy as right. a man. And so I, I was understanding to that. So his his he got both of our last names. I couldn't be written out of that altogether. Mm-hmm. So he's a Hewitt Holt. Yeah. So his wife will be whatever. However, if she wants to hyphenate, then she'll be Jackson Hewitt Holt or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I don't care. Hopefully, hopefully she'll be a nice young lady. I won't have, cause I'm still be fighting when he um. So, that's luggage. You think that you deserve a name? <clears throat> well, I could have just been real selfish and put my name on there only. Luggage can't do that. I did it with the first. One. You shouldn't luggage. First of all, <laughs> God damn it, I am not luggage. Now, if I'm married. I'm going to hyphenate my name, but my children will have their father's last name only because I have that name too. Fam. Yes. There is not in any situation where when two people make that child, mm-hmm. that there should be no father associated with that name. Okay. And that's on Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. He, he and fell and he broke fall. his ass up too. That's on the Berenstein Bears mama being the first person to wear a bonnet out in public. <laughs> and her moo <mama. laughs> I'm just saying. She was fly, though. Well, Don't she be hating, mama. Mama none, none, none of these folks match. None of these girls match them with their mama. It was always. She at least matched. Point. Do you remember the colors? Mm-hmm. The colors. Yeah, the blue. Periwinkle blue. <laughs> with the... The and sunflower? the orange polka dots. <laughs> oh, God, the sunflower. I'm sorry. She had a sunflower one too. They kept us. Look, let me tell you something. They kept Mrs. Berenstein clean. No, she wasn't. I'm that fresh. Nigga, I'm that, clean. That, that, nigga she was, that nigga she was married to wore that yellow flannel and <laughs> overalls. 
And he didn't take no showers and no baths. Look, I was just glad the nigga had <laughs> bottoms on, okay? Otherwise, I would have been real confused. Yeah, no baths. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I don't, I don't see a problem in having a baby is a joint effort. Regardless of who inseminated who or what egg carried where, whatever. Having a baby is a joint effort. And I always say two of the most important decisions you make in your life is who you marry and who you have your kids with. And at the end of the day, if the two of you can come together and decide, okay, the baby's going to have both our names. Or if a man say, I'm going to marry you or whatever the case may be. Or if y'all get married before the baby get here and then y'all have the same last name. It, I think it's just a thing with women. We want... You carry a baby for not nine months, but ten. And aside from that, you when you push that baby out, it's kind of like you're pushing a little bit of yourself out as well. Just think that baby grew inside of you for <clears throat> for ten months. So <sighs> shit's about to get real. Yeah. Um. Luggage don't tell nobody what the owners that put luggage inside. Of well, it's a lot of kids out here with the mama last name and not the pappies. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. <laughs> Period. Only weak niggas. <laughs> that put that name on there, that baby. If there's a child out there that got a man's last name, nine times out of ten, it's because he he requested it in child support court. I don't have to request shit. Anything that I start cooking. If I start prep working, we made this meal. <laughs> so, okay. So, you telling me that your girlfriend, if it happens, if your girlfriend gets pregnant before y'all get married, the baby can't have both of y'all's last names? No. <sighs> if we're going to try to be traditionalists and all this other bullshit be going on. Well, about then are you going to marry her before the baby gets here? That will be the plan. Oh, okay. We'll see that I can handle. Yeah. She going to do what I say anyway. Don't um, do everything. Mm. <clears throat> she going to do what I say anyway. Um... <laughs> That's a weak O. H O H O H O E. Everybody in the Hugh Hill, okay? <laughs> so, um, You're not going to make me spit my good one out no more. Uh, I saw something. Okay, here's uh, another tale from the online dating world. I saw a profile. Oh my gosh, you still doing that? I've I, I got to get this research on y'all because I tell <laughs> you. It is hilarious, okay? Uh -huh. So it's a young girl named, she's 23 years old. Mm -hmm. This is what her profile states. I don't date anyone from the couch or a house. Invest in getting to know me or skip me respectfully. It's okay to acknowledge my body, but if that's all you have to talk about, talk to me about, again, keep it moving. I'm super adventurous, intelligent, ambitious, funny, down to earth, MBA student with a double BA degree. She's Colombian, Nicaraguan, and black. She crazy as hell. So, when you see the young lady's photos, she crazy, ain't she? You just see that. Somewhere there's a man with a bathtub full of his clothes in bleach um, and his tires slashed. But all I see is body yaddy 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 yaddy. I'm sorry, her sentence said. It's okay to acknowledge my body, but that's all you have to talk. But yet, the only that's pictures that we see is body, yada, 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 yada. Are there no graduation pictures? Mm, Are there no pictures of her? I don't see anything about those double BAs, baby. Those mm. double degrees. I mean, where did that? Maybe that's not cool. Mm. That's not what mm. fellas want to look at. Ladies. Uh, I'm just saying, though. No. Yeah, get your act together, please. Okay, thanks. Or else we won't be speaking, girl. You remember that song? A couple of quick, yes. A couple of <laughs> quick things that I saw from women's accounts. I asked myself, was I crazy? And we all said, no. <laughs> <laughs> but when a she black woman stands up for herself, suddenly she has an attitude problem. Mm -hmm. You still do. Um, let's see. The other one was um, when you're in the room and you're waiting for your man to apologize. But instead, you hear EA Sports. It's, it's in the yes. game. <laughs> yep. That was a good one. I like that one. That's true. Um, and the last thing I guess we will cover before we call it a night is 
Tell me if you agree with this. Once the police get called, mm. that relationship is it's over. C or no C? C. <laughs> C. Because if you call the police on me, I'm going to finish the job. Um, Got to twitch your eye out. Thank you all for joining us on this week's episode of... <clears throat> No, I'm right. Uh, if I'm going to the principal's office, I'm going to the principal's office for kicking your ass. I'm not going for us arguing and pushing chairs around the classroom. I'm going to fuck you up. We have a GoFundMe site coming up soon for AC's bail money, apparently. <laughs> In the meantime, make sure you check out all of the fun social media sites for the KMWI Studios family. Yeah. Uh, Fortitude uh, is already up for season one. Yeah. Season two is in production. Got that coming soon. Also, to the YouTube channels of No I'm Right, uh -huh. catch each and every episode, past, yeah. present, and future. That is No I'm Right 100. That is YouTube.com uh -huh. forward slash No I'm Right 100. Cutting up with LA season two is still under production. Probably has some setbacks. Don't judge me. Mm. And, um, and make sure that you, yeah, I'm a little shaggy. Uh, it wasn't me. Make sure that you go to the NMTG Clothing Store site. That is NMTGclothing.com where we're blessed to get you dressed. Y'all make sure y'all follow No I'm Right. Your girl AC and LA are available on Instagram and Facebook. Not Twitter because we simply don't have enough characters for AC's ego. So once again, episode 68 is in the book. Signing out for this Wednesday from the executive suites at KMWI Media Studios. It is Dallas's favorite son signing off. And don't forget the golden rule. Each and every week, no matter how you hear it, all you luggage ears out there, I am always right. See you next week, luggage. Make sure you pack, check in, and carry out. Any, get up, Jimmy, now this record about to go, huh? Me and you, that's overdue. If any streets, it's a pastime. Roll the dice and give me one more chance, and I swear to God, it's the last time. As I pray, word to LA, actions allowed, so I hold my peace in a checkout line.